So guys, good evening. Can you yeah. hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. No. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. We still have people connecting, so we're gonna begin in a minute. Okay, let's see if all the ones here. Okay, uh, how was your day, the weekend, guys? How was the weekend? Did you do anything special? Hello, hello. Okay, so let me check attendance and then we'll begin with today's uh, class. Let's see. Mario, Mario Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Esther Mendes. Hello, hello, Esther. Can you hear me? Hello, Esther. Can you hear me? Presented. Oh, okay, very good. There you are. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Esteves. Thank you. Cristian Rivas. Hey, le puedo decir 11, 11. Cristian, Cristian. Not here. Uh, Elmer. Thank you, Elmer. And Nestor. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. So, all right, today the class is uh, it's about speaking. So, what we will do is practice present progressive. That's what we're going to be practicing, okay? Uh, we will do some exercises uh, and then I have an activity for you, okay? Well, you need to practice the use of present progressive in different situations. Okay, so guys, so how, how are you today? Tell me, how's everything going? Hello, hello, guys, are we there? Are we still getting ready? I'm bad. You're bad, my Delin. Why is that? Hello, hello, guys. Can you hear me well? Or, or is it? If you don't hear me, let me know, please, because I have been, they have been working with my internet to fix it. 
So if hello, you hello, have... hello. Hello, Jaime. How are you? Hello. Hello, David. Can you good, hear me? Good. Okay. Okay, very good. So what we are going to do is the following. I'm going to show you, uh, I will show you, so we will do an exercise. Okay, let me just share the screen. And this is called Guess the Action. And remember that today's, today's class and the activities that we need to do, they are related to present progressive, okay? Present progressive, so I am going to show you right now the pictures. Okay, let's do the first one together and you will do the next one, okay? I, I need some volunteers, let's see. So this is called guess the action. And there is a sentence, uh, for example, here we have, she is holding a paintbrush and a palette of colors. All right, so this is the paintbrush, remember? And this is the palette of colors. And behind here, there is an image of a person doing an action. So I will ask some volunteers to read the sentence and then I need you to guess the action, okay? Uh, let's begin, with, let's do the exercise together. This one, Maitreyn, can you read this one, please? Read the sentence. She's holding a paintbrush and a palette of colors. He's holding a paintbrush and a palette of colors. Now, holding, it means that she has it in the hands, right? She has it in the hands. So what do you think she, what do you think she's doing? And then I'm, she's in the picture here. So what do you think she's doing? So what is, what is a person with a paintbrush and a palette of color doing? What do you think she's doing? And you have to use present progressive to tell me what this person or what you think is she's doing. A volunteer? Let's see, anybody? What is she doing? So remember, she's holding a pen brush and a palette um, of colors. What is she doing? She is painting. She is painting. Let's see if that is correct. I will have to do this because if not, you won't be able to see. Can you still see my screen? No, it is paused. I'm going to share the screen again. All right, there we go, because I need to do something. Okay, let's see. So let's see. Uh, there we go. All right, so you think that she is painting. Let's see. Yes, that is correct. She's painting, okay? She is painting. So she's holding a paintbrush and a palette of color. And so she is painting, okay? Now, we are going to do the next one. I'm going to ask Mario to please read the next sentence. Hello, hello, Mario. Sylvia, are we there, Sylvia? Guys, I need you to participate. Sylvia? She is a, a chef. Word, word. But read, read the sentence. Read the sentence, Sylvia. Thank you. Read the sentence. Complete sentence. This uh, she is wearing a chef how a, a pro. Apron. Apron. Mm -hmm. Very good. So the apron is this one. That's the name, apron. And the hat, well, obviously the hat is uh, 
the hat is this one, right? So we have the hat is this one right here. So the sentence says that she is wearing a chef's hat and apron. What's she doing? What do you think this, this person is doing? Any volunteer? What is the person doing? Uh, chef. Okay, but you have to say the sentence. You have to say the complete sentence using present progressive, right? What is this person doing? What is the action? She's cooking. She's cook. She is cooking. She, she is cooking. She is cooking. Let's see. What do you think? Yes, she is cooking. She's wearing a hat, a chef's hat, and also an apron. That's the name of that. What we know in Spanish. What's the name of for that in Spanish? What's the name for that? Delantal, mandil. Delantal, exactly. So that is the name in English is apron. Very good, guys. Let's continue with the next one. So remember, you have to guess the action, okay? The action. Let's read this one. Uh, Jaime or Mario. Mario, I, I was waiting for you. Can you read this one, please, Mario? Hello. Hello, Mario. They are sitting around a coffee room. They are. Uh -huh. they, they are. Campfire. Campfire. Yeah. Campfire. Like that. Yes. Very good. So, what do you think she's, they are doing? What are they doing? They are sitting around a campfire. What are they doing? And there you have a picture. If you have a, that's a campfire. What are they doing? Here there are different possible answers. So that's there is not a correct one. What are they doing? Um, no sé cómo explicarlo, pero están alrededor de una fogata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think they are doing? Um, what do you do yeah. when... Mm -hmm. um, They are from the camp. They are from the camp. The camp. The camp. The campamento. Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Camp. Like we can say it's a verb. Like they I are camp. from the camp. If I say I camp, you camp. So we can say they are camping. Camping. Correct. Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's see. Let's see if that's true. Okay. Very good. See, what are they doing? Are they camping? What else are they doing? Can you tell me what else they are doing? Any other idea? They okay. They are camping. But what else are they doing? They they are a singer. They, they are, are singing. singer. They are singing. Very good. They are singing. singing. Okay. Very good. What else are they doing? Do you see something in their hands? Do you see something in their hands? What are they doing? I, I, I'm gonna make the image probably a little bit larger so you can see. Uh, they are drinking. They are drinking, yes, what? What? Wine. Wine, they, they are drinking Wine. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. So they are drinking wine. Okay, there you have the picture, complete picture. See, they are drinking wine. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. Uh, what about this one? Um, any volunteer to read what is here? Uh -huh. Volunteers, volunteers. Come on, guys, you need to participate. David. The kings are pooping is the in public. Publics. The kids, this the, the word is puddled. Like, see, it's puddled. Very good. And do, do you know what that is, right? This is like, for example, that's the name. This is a puddle. Sometimes, sometimes we have them on the street too. 
Sometimes you have them on the street. Uh, like, uh, let me show you uh, another one. Uh, so what do you think the kids are doing? What do you think the kids are doing? What are they doing? Any ideas? Any ideas about what the kids uh, are doing? They are playing. They are playing. That could be one. Let's see. Let, let me look at the picture. I want to put another picture so that this is, this is going to show you better like the meaning of this. So we also have puddles. This, they are called the same. All right, these ones and these ones right here, they are called puddles, okay? So let's see. Yeah, the kids are playing. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. So... So remember, the idea is that you practice present progressive. Guys, in English, if you don't practice, you, it's very hard to learn. So you need to practice, okay? Um, let's continue and, and participate. Right? There are no wrong answers, right? We can find out what is the correct answer to give. A, a volunteer, Magdalena or Janet, hello. Can you help me with this one? Who's there? Hello, hello. He's blowing, blowing up balloon. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening. He's blowing up balloons. You know what blow is? Blow is like, like, like. Blowing. Fire. Blowing, yes. When there is blowing. fire, what, what do you do? You blow, right? So what do you think he's doing? Remember, there is no wrong answer. I just want to know what you think they're doing. Or he, he is doing. What is he doing? When do you need to blow balloons? Like, when? Tell me. What do you think? What's the action? What for is... a birthday? Eh, he's blowing balloons for a birthday. Let's see. For, for, for the party. Blowing balloons for the party. Let's see. Yes. Like that. They're blowing balloons for the party, for the birthday. Excellent. Very good, guys. Uh, let's move on to the next one. And the next one is this one. What do you think? Um, Milton, read this one. Read this one. They're, they are dancing under the disco ball. They are dancing under the disco ball. So what ball. ball? It's a ball, like like soccer ball, like football. It's a ball, disco ball. What are they doing? They are dancing. They are dancing. They are, they are dancing. Where or for what? Oh. Guess, try to guess. As I said, remember, there is no wrong answer, but try to complete the sentence. They are dancing under the ball. Where or why? Let's see a picture. In the bar, in the in, disco. In a disco, maybe, in a ball, in a party. Uh -huh. in a party. Party, right, dancing, dancing in the party. What kind of party is this one? Mary. They are probably getting married. Mary. And this is. Uh -huh. what, do, what do we call this? This is a wedding. Fifteen years, también. A wed Okay, maybe we don't know. Maybe for the 15 years party, right? Excellent. Very good, guys. Let's try the next one. Uh, um, the next one is this one. It says, okay, um, let's see. I need a volunteer to read. What about Elmer? Hello, teacher. Hello, Elmer. Can you please read the sentence? 
Okay. Yeah. We are packing our suitcase with closet and toil toil no sé cómo se pronuncia esa última. Toilet trees. Toilet trees. Toilet trees. Yes, toilet trees. So what are they doing or what's going on here? What do you think? Now, see, do you know what a suitcase is? Okay, so for example, toiletries, toiletries are, uh, for example, all of these things, uh, like everything that you take for personal care. And clothes is this, right? That's all your clothes. Toilet trees, see, I don't know. I'm gonna make the image bigger so you can see it. See, these are toiletries, see? And you see the image better? Those are toiletries. What do you see? For example, we have a razor blade. Uh, we can take some shampoo, some, I don't know. There are many things, some soap. So we can uh, take our soap. Uh-huh, soap, soap, you can take soap. So what do you think they are doing? When do you need to pack toiletries and clothes? They are going to the travel. They are going to a trip or they are traveling. I'm gonna write traveling. here so we can- gonna... Their eye, their eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Se me fue la idea. <laughs> they are going on a trip. And what was the other one that you mentioned? My name. They are, oh, a travel. I'm going to write them here so we can, we're going to check some vocabulary here. They are, let me just write those. And they are going on a travel. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Let me show you the picture. Okay, and this is what is going on. So yes, my daddy was right. They are going on a trip or they are going for a travel or they are traveling. I will show you that in a moment, okay? But very good guys. Uh, let's see, we got, we got two more, we got two more. What about this one? Uh, volunteer to read. I am studying from Austria, Michel, Columbia. My eye, my hair, okay. my hair, hair, hair. My hair. Okay, so it says I am standing in front of the mirror. You know what a mirror is? Espejo. Uh huh. Oh, when yeah. you're getting ready, and ah, com and combing is this action. Right. This, this is Feinar. this is a comb. Right? This is a comb, and so we're combing right here. So, what do you think this person is? I have what do you think is going on there, guys? What is the action? I am beautiful salon. Maybe you are at a beauty salon, probably. When I look at the picture, anybody, any other idea? Any other idea about what this person is doing? No? Let's see. Oops, I moved it. No. Let me go to the next one. That's, this is it. Okay, let's see. Ah. Uh... What do you think this person is doing? Is she at a beauty salon? No. Beauty no. So what do you think she's doing? All right, she's combing her hair, right? But... Why? 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 Why do you think she? What's What's she doing? Is she getting ready to go out? Yes. Do you think she's probably? She's, she's getting she's getting ready to go out to go to work probably go to the school go to the school she's getting ready to go to school very good Gloria go to the yes. university to the university it's another option she's getting her I don't I don't she's getting her hair 
done. That's another. That's a good a good sentence. She is getting her hair done. It's very common. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here. So let me just I'm gonna show you the sentences that I'm writing in a moment. All right, so that we can we can learn vocabulary and how to use simple uh, present progressive. So she is getting her hair done. Okay, her hair done. Okay, pretty good. Excellent. And I think that we have the last one. Uh, let's see. Yes, we have one last one. What about this one? Remember, there is no wrong answer, guys. You just try to guess. What is the action? Uh, I haven't heard. What? My volunteer to read. He is writing something in a notebook with a pen. Okay, he's writing. Writing, writing, writing something. something. In, in a, a notebook mm -hmm. with a pen. With a pen. So what do you think he's doing? What do you think he's doing? What do you think? What do you think? Tell me. He's a homework. He is doing homework. Do you think he's doing homework, guys? Or is there any other opinion? What do you think? In class note. Writing notes from the class. Yes, he is doing homework. He's taking notes. Do homework. He's oh, yeah, he was uh, doing homework. Any other idea? Any any other guess? Una carta de amor. Oh, <laughs> maybe he's writing a a love letter. Who knows? Who knows? Love letter. Love letter. Long letter. A love letter. Oh, a love letter. You think he's yeah. writing a love letter? <laughs> well, let me tell you that I don't think that's a love letter because it's a shopping list. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's no well, unless you're preparing food, right? But yes, yeah, see, so he is writing a shopping, shopping list. list. A shopping list. That's what he's writing. <laughs> Very shopping good, guys. List. Shopping list, okay. Um, let me continue with the next one. This is this was the last one. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Any doubts so far about present progressive? No. Uh, I'm going to make this larger so that we can take a look at this really quickly. Remember that right, so far we use present progressive for three different purposes, right? We remember we use present progressive for a uh, continuous actions, right? So uh, we, we use it for actions that are happening now, actions happening now. We also use present progressive for future arrangement. Remember that this was when we are making plans, right? We're making like some sort of plans and for temporary habits, okay? We use present progressive for these three different things. And remember we use the subject that can be a name, he, she, it, I, you, we, they. And we need to use the verb to be. This one is very important. If you don't use this one, if you don't use this one, there is no present progressive. We need, because you need to do this, to use the ing, you need one of these, okay? Is that clear, guys? We need one of that one. Is that clear? It was uh, about the structure. Uh, we need to use one of those. Every time that you use present progressive, you need to use subject, verb to be, and also you need, also you need a the verb with ing at the end. So far, so good. Yes, maybe questions. Don't don't worry, guys. Let me know what you think, okay? Because we need to fix. We need to make sure that we understand this, okay? Now I'm gonna show you some exercises that we have. Uh, before we get into actually the practice that you are going to do individually, let me just er erase this and I'm going to share the other screen too. Uh, 
Let me see. Uh, I already took, I already took attendance, guys. Uh, who was I missing? A uh, Christian. I don't know if he's here already. Maybe not. Okay. Well, no problem. No problem at all. So I'm going to show you the exercise that we are going to do. In together, right? Together we're gonna do this exercise, and also we are going to a uh, practice in in groups in groups we're going to practice in groups okay let me share this and i just want to i just want to show you tell me my name tell me tell me uh, este hoy tuve una clase que bueno en inglés que me toca de la universidad uh -huh. eh, la, y trato de, de entenderla porque esto me va a salir en el examen Ok, nice. Pero hoy me dijo, o sea, aprovechando de que estamos viendo el tema de, de presente continuo y ella mencionó esto de que antes de usar un verbo con, así en, en presente continuo, cuando poníamos una, una preposición, o sea, ella dijo de que no necesariamente tenía que ser presente, sino que siempre se podía. Por ejemplo, before having breakfast, Watch your hands. O sea, no es como la típica estructura mm. que yo he visualizado siempre. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the thing is, I'm gonna write it here. And all right, let me just write it here. It says before having breakfast. Uh, breakfast. These are like two different topics because this one is not present continuous. Uh, for present progressive, you always need to use a subject. Right? A subject is, uh, you need the subject, which is the person, right? He, she, it, or the name of the person. Uh, and we also need uh, the verb in ing. You need the verb and we need to put an ing to the verb but so that we can use this in present progressive in present progressive you need to add the verb to be so you need to add am um, you need to add or is or are but you have to use one of them you have to use one of them this one this one right here before having breakfast is not present progressive. Uh, this is different. This is another topic. And I'm pretty sure you're probably studying germs. If I'm not wrong, you, that's what probably you should be studying. Because before having breakfast is not present continuous, right? The, for present progressive, uh, we need the subject, we need the verb, and we need the uh, This is something different. This is another topic, but uh, the thing is that you can use the ing form in, in that type of sentences. But as I said, if you if you pay attention when you say before having breakfast, you know what before means. When you say before, I let me just say it again. But when you say before. Writing a uh, before uh, having breakfast. Is this an action that is taking place now? Is it happening now? Is it happening at this moment? Is it... This moment, no. No, it is. Oh, podría ser después. Before means antes. This is like when when your parents used to tell you before you have before you eat breakfast. Uh, wash your hands. And you can say before having breakfast, wash your hands. But it's not a, it's not expressing present continuous. It's not expressing a, an action that is happening now. It's not expressing a, a future plan. And it's not expressing, for example, a, a habit. Okay. So in this case, you don't need the verb to be, but but this one is not present progressive. That's the difference. This is something else. It's something different. 
For present progressive, you will know you will usually have subject verb to be ing. Is that clear, Maiden? Entonces, solo eso pasa cuando ponemos preposiciones antes como before, after, uh -huh. otro tipo de preposiciones. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes. Like, like, like you say before going to bed. So there you use ing. But remember, that's not present progressive. That's something, that's a different topic. Okay, guys. So let me show you. Uh, I, I wrote these sentences from, uh, I wrote these sentences from what you were, uh, here, right here, right here, right here, right here. I, did, I wrote these sentences. Uh, for example, somebody mentioned she is cook. Uh, remember that in present progressive, as I was saying, you need the verb to be. And if you use the verb to be, you have to include the ing form, right? Keep that in mind, okay? Keep keep that in mind. So here it will have to be ing. She is cooking, okay? Because this is the action. This is the verb. It's different if you say, for example, she is a cook. She is a cook. Now, what's the difference between these two words? No sé si se dieron cuenta ya que en inglés hay palabras que pueden ocuparse como un verbo y a la vez como un sustantivo. Like here, for example, when I say cooking, I'm talking about the action, about the verb. But when I say she is a cook, I'm saying that the person is a cook. I, it's, say, it's like saying she is a chef. You can call them chef, cook, right? So just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, they are singing. Uh, well, this one was okay. It was right. Uh, they are going on a trip. Uh, all of this, these two sentences, uh, they, are, they, they mean the same. Like they are going on a trip or they are going on a travel, or you can also say they, they are traveling, okay? You can also say they are traveling. These are, uh, these are uh, different expressions and they mean the same. Uh, then we have, she's getting her hair done. I don't remember who mentioned this one. But when you say, I have my hair done, for example, girls, when you go to the, to the, to this, uh, to the salon, you can say, uh, I'm getting my hair done. It means that somebody is probably, I don't know, ironing, doing, giving you some color in the hair. But what you mean is that they, somebody's working on, on your hair, okay? Um, we also, I also took note of, um, for example, this one, the other one was, uh, uh, he is doing homework. So remember that when you say do, when you refer to homework, you say doing, all right, that was okay. He is doing homework. Any questions so far up to this point, guys? If not, uh, we're going to move on to this uh, exercise. So I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to give you a chance one by one. And with this one, I'm going to end my participation and then I'm going to give you <laughs> some instructions for an exercise that you will do. Okay. Um, let's begin. Madeline, begin with the first one. So what do we write here? Right now? Right now, she she writing a she? book. She writing a book in the living room. She reading a book in the living room. Let's look. She, mm -hmm. she is. She is, exactly. She is. she is. Remember what I just told you. You need for the verb, uh, for the present progressive, you need she is. Right? You need that verb. She is reading a book in the living room. Very good. Uh, let's continue with the second one. David, can you help me with this one? What do we have right here? Mi compañero. David, David, is David there? No, Milton. Milton, go ahead. Write this one. We is, 
having a picnic at, at the park, park this Sunday. We is having having uh -huh. having a uh, Milton. We is it plural or is it singular? Is uh, we plural or plural. Uh -huh. Plural. Okay. Is do we use it for plural or for singular? Ah, uh, is singular. Uh -huh. Is a plu is singular. Entonces solo sería we having. Mm, remember what I remember yeah. what I just explained. Remember what I just explained. You need the verb to be. The only thing that you hear, you need to put the correct one. Which is the correct one for plural? We are. We are. We are. We, we are. are. Thank you. Are. Very good. Thank you, guys. Very good. We are having. Okay. Don't forget that. Plural. If this is plural, we have to use the verb to be in the plural form. Okay. Let's try the next one. Very good, Milton. Alberto, uh, try this one. Tell me, Madeline. Um, this is a plant. What do you mean? A plant? This one. Uh, yes, we are having a picnic at the party this Sunday. It's a plant. Yes, very good. It is a plant. What about number three, they, Alberto? They are playing soccer every Saturday afternoon. They are playing soccer every Saturday afternoon. Let me ask you the question. Is this future plan? Is this a habit? Is this a action happening now? What do you think? Uh, action in Está en el momento. Ajá, uh -huh. is it now? Like they are playing, they are playing soccer every, remember what I told you about the word every? They are playing every Saturday. For example, if I if I say I wake up every day at 6 a.m., is it a habit or is it a plan in the future? I wake up every day at 6 a.m. It is a habit. It is a habit. They it's are habit. playing soccer every Saturday. That means that it's every Saturday, okay? So it, it is a habit. Todos los sábados en la tarde. Exactly, Alberto. So it's a habit, right? Thank you very much. Continue with the next one. Um, Ricardo, are you are you there? He, he is studying for his English exam next week. He is studying for his English exam next week. Very good. Now, is this an action happening right now? Is this future or is this a habit? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It is future. It is? Future. Future. You have very good. Now I I heard somebody said a habit. What you have to pay attention to is this this word. See, next week. Only that word says future. Okay, so it is future. Very good. It's a future action or a future arrangement, a future plan. Uh, let Let's try Gloria. Can you try this one number five, please? Yes, I am working on a project at the moment. I am working on a project at the moment. Is it happening now, future, or is it a habit, Gloria? Uh, is for the moment? The moment, yes. And that is uh, for... No, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Is, uh -huh. It's the same. See, at the moment, it's the same as if you say now. Okay? It's uh -huh, something now. that is... Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. Let's try the next one. Uh, Silvia. Thank you very much, Gloria. Silvia, can you check? Try number six, please. Um, tomorrow, I am 
meeting my friend for lunch. 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 Very good. Silvia, now is this future happening now or is it a habit? What do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, see our habit future or habit, a what, habit. About, what about this word future. future tomorrow that means future right this is a, this is for future when it says tomorrow next week uh, this saturday that is future the see these words are very important for you to know if it is right uh, let's try with number seven Jaime can you please help me with that one number seven the kids are watching a movie this evening the kids are watching a movie this evening future or uh, is it a future arrangement? Is it happening now or is it a habit? Habit. It's a habit. Is it? See this word here, this Sunday, and now we have this evening. It's happening now. Mm. When you say is it is future yes it is future see this the kids are watching a movie this evening when you hear the word this sunday es como cuando nosotros decimos en español uh, este domingo voy a ir a la iglesia este domingo iré a jugar fútbol este este so this sun, we, we're talking about future right it's future uh -huh, exactly so this whenever you hear these expressions this it's evening is this exactly or will you say this one that we're talking about future is the next probably day okay very good let's try the next one thank you jaime and nestor help me with number eight nestor and mm. yeah. she is mm -hmm. practice siempre lleva ing Yes, remember future a uh, present progressive Practice, practicing the piano every day. Practicing the piano every day. Very good. Very good, Jaime. Now is this habit? Is this future or is this a uh, happening now? What is it? What do you think? Uh-huh. What do you think, guys? It's habit. It's a habit. How do we know? Habit. Every day. If you do something every day, it is a habit. habit. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's try number uh, nine. Elmer, are you there? Okay. Help me On with Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, they mm -hmm. going hiking in the mountain. They going hiking in the mountains. Is, is they there are. anything missing, Elmer? They are. They are. They are. They, yes, don't forget the verb to be, okay? You need the verb to be for present progressive. Now, is this one future? Arrangements is it a habit or is it a an act, something happening right now? Future, future, very good. It says on Saturday, we're talking about next Saturday. And the last one, Magdalena, uh, can you hear me? Can you help me with the last one, please? Uh, no, I couldn't hear you, Magdalena. Maybe Janet, Janet, can you help Magdalena? Because I think she might be having problems with the microphone. Okay. Right now, he is cooking dinner for his family. 
Right now, he is cooking dinner for his family. Is it future arrangements? Is it a habit? Or is it something happening now? What do you think? What do you think? Is it something happening now? Future? A habit? It's in the moment. In the moment, right? The word right now, it, may, it means at this very moment, okay? At this moment. Right now means at this moment. Like right now, we are in class, okay? All right, guys. Uh, before we do the activity, yes, I know, I know, my dad. I think that's the issue. So don't worry. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this one. And there is a, there is an activity that I want you to, to do. Uh, we're going to, we have like about five minutes to practice in, so I'm going to send you to breakout rooms. Uh, so far we have, um, how many do we have? I'm actually 14. So I'm actually going to put, I'm going to make groups of three. The idea is this, see, the idea is, is very simple. Uh, oops. Uh, the idea is that you are trying to make plans with your friends to go out. Uh, I, am I sharing? No, I am not. Let me just share the screen again. There you go. All right, so, so the idea is that you make plans. But what I want you to do is make it difficult for the other person to make the plan. So, for example, if you ask me, eh, teacher, why don't we have lunch next Saturday? I have to make it difficult. Uh, no, next Saturday I am having dinner uh, or I am going out with my friends. Um, and I can ask, uh, what about Sunday? Can, can, do you have time on Sunday? And probably the, uh, the other one is going to say, uh, no, I have other plans. I am playing soccer with, with my son. I don't know if you get the idea. I want you to make a conversation, okay, where you practice present progressive and you try to make plans. But you have to use present progressive. It is very important that you use present progressive because that's what you need to practice. So I'm going to send you right now to break a room. I'm going to make the group big so that we can um, so that we can be like three in each group. But the idea is that you practice. La conversación debe ser hacer planes en el futuro eh, pero la idea es que no lo hagan fácil para el que está haciendo los planes ok eh, so you have to use like sentences no I am I, I already have plans I am eh, I am working on Saturday is that clear guys is that clear if it is clear I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for the last couple of minutes I will uh, check some of you to see what is it that you're doing. Uh, but as I said, I'm just going to have like probably three, like four groups, I guess, so that we can be more there. All right. So you can practice with everybody. Okay. Uh, I want to send you right now, guys. So I'm going to be visiting the rooms in a moment.
Can you hear me, guys? I cannot hear you. Hello, teacher. Hello, Milton. Uh, I need you to practice, guys. Okay, I need you to practice uh, with present progressive. Hagan una conversación donde hacen planes, pero la idea es que le hagan difícil al otro hacer los planes, ponerse de acuerdo. Entonces, si le dicen, tenés tiempo lunes, no. I am visiting my parents. Eh, y el otro puede preguntar, ¿y qué tal el martes? El otro puede decir, no, uh, I already have plans. I am working. Y hacen un par de intentos. Al final se ponen de acuerdo. But the idea is that you practice present progressive for future arrangements. Okay? Bye okay. Then. Okay, please try, guys, and good luck, good luck. Mm, quizás eh, de 2 a 4 p.m. Mm, you have planning eh, the next weekend or in the weekend? Um, yes. Um, I going to the school Hello Gloria, hello Alberto. How are we doing? Any questions about the activity? Hello, teacher. Hello, Alberto. Did you talk? Uh, to, did you talk to Gloria already? Gloria, Gloria. Well, she cannot listen. Okay. So I'm gonna send you to different rooms so that you can practice with other people. Let me see. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let's see, I'm gonna move Gloria to maybe with room number three. And Alberto, I'm going to send you to probably group number four with Maideline. And practice, please. Okay. Hello, guys. Uh, I hope that you had the chance to practice. Uh, well, the class is over right now, so I'm going to see you tomorrow. You have a nice night, guys. Uh, Good evening, teacher. Hello. So have a nice night, okay, guys? Practice, practice. See you tomorrow.
Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night.